We'll move over Bud Light. Dove Soap is saying, hold my beer. The soap company facing backlash after hiring disgraced activist Zayana Bryant for its fat liberation campaign. Now, she is a former BLM activist who went to UVA, but what she did, she caused an uproar after claiming to have heard a white student threaten Black Lives Matter's protesters in 2020. Well, turns out she didn't. Uh, Bryant would later admit that she misheard what the student was saying, but still that student's life was completely ruined. Uh, an ongoing issue there. Joining me now to discuss our panel, editorial director for The Federalist, Kylie Griswold, ambassador for the America First Policy Institute, retired gunnery sergeant for the U.S. Marine Corps, Jesse Jane Duff, and Project 21 volunteer, Whitley Yates. All right, Whitley, I'm going to start with you here. Uh, kind of a combination of things happening. We have the uh, go woke, potentially go broke, like we've seen with Bud Light. Uh, what is Dove thinking here? Uh, but also uh, hiring someone who doesn't have a great reputation yeah, I'm really disappointed that Dove chose this person to represent this campaign. I guess I can physically see why, but I'm really not sure when it comes to who they are. Companies need to remember that association breeds assimilation, meaning that if they choose to align their brand with someone who would make false claims and then torment that person to getting kicked out of school, then that's what the brand will then represent. I think that's a great point. Uh, what do you think about this, Kylie? Yeah, I, I don't necessarily think that uh, the backlash will be as intense as the Bud Light backlash. You know, making comments about fatness or, you know, having a particular issue on your college campus is not necessarily the same as the transgender controversy, which seems to be more of an animating force in our culture right now uh, because of, you know, the fundamental nature of the sexes to, to our civilization. Uh, but that said, the similarities uh, in the unscientific nature of all of this is uncanny. You know, just as it's unscientific to think that it's healthy to amputate healthy body parts or sterilize kids. It's equally crazy to think that it's healthy to be morbidly obese and to to have your brand be going out for the fat, uh, the fat liberation movement mm -hmm. is is really kind of an insane step to take. Yeah, uh, good point, Kylie. Jesse Jane, uh, you know, I'm thinking about it. It's like, OK, these are brands. I mean, and, and these brands are exist um, to have products to set for consumers to purchase. So at what point are these marketing executives going to get back to the bottom line, which is to actually make your customers want to purchase your project, uh, products? It seems like they're doing exactly the opposite. Exactly. Dove did a fabulous campaign a little bit ago that um, had billboards of women that were in underwear, and it was not provocative. It was more like sports-type underwear. And they were all shapes and sizes, and they were basically saying embracing women's bodies. And I think all of us could have looked at that poster and said, yeah, I resemble her, or I resemble her. And nobody was this perfect, perfect stellar model. But to Kylie's point, Morbid or obesity is not something that I think should be part of any campaign because we have such a horrific health crisis here in this country right now. Not just your mental health, but also high blood pressure, heart disease. And her being African-American, having represented the BLM movement, this particularly strikes the black community because they have been targeted by a lot of these fast food chains. We have these problems with the higher rates of heart disease and diabetes. And here she's basically saying, we have to have this conversation that this is okay. We're trying to normalize something which does tie into a lot of what we see with the transgender movement, trying to normalize things right. with our children. Well, now we're trying to normalize something with society. And I just find that very objectionable. All right. Great points from all of you today on The Other View. Thanks for being with us, Kylie Griswold, Kara Davis, and Jesse Jane Duff. Thank you.